Hello, and greetings, my fellow Terrarians. Uh, Kyushin here for another episode of Terracor. As a lot of you might already know, uh, I have done a lot of recent upgrades to my tree. Uh, we removed a lot of the base of the tree, and I re-expanded and made it larger. So let's have a look-see, shall we? Uh, I did this bridge in this island during a stream a couple weeks ago. Um, very proud of it. Happy that it came out the way it did. Continuing on, uh, so here is the base of the tree. We had to expand the storage because I just was running out of room and since we're in medium core and not journey mode, there's a lot of item hoarding. <laughs> um, and I designed this door, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of. I, I like it. <laughs> it's nigh impenetrable, almost. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it does let tree men in, but uh, there's nothing we can do about that. So I decided to add on this decorative portion. I kind of like the idea that the tree is housing a special gem. Kind of solidifying the magical energies I've been putting into it. Uh, I wanted to make sure I kept the shrines. I didn't want to have to take them apart and rebuild them. I might have to in future builds when I expand the tree even further. But in the meantime, I'm just, I'm content with kind of incorporating the tree as part of the build. Or just wrapping it around there. Um, I made this room over here for storage, uh, mostly for vanities. Uh, I'm going to put up some mannequins to hang the vanities off of, like some of my favorite vanities. Make it kind of like a boudoir. Boudoir? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the, my room, the main room hasn't changed much. Uh, and stuff. I might do some adjustments there and some interior decorating. Uh, I have this big large area up here that I added. I really like it, but I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Um, suggestions in the comments would be appreciated. Uh, anything you can think of, and we'll see what uh, strikes my fancy or, you know. Goes. Oh, that looks like a good idea. Um, and that's it for the tree build. Uh, Another thing I'm planning on doing... Oh yeah, and here's my ocean. I did a coral reef in a live stream as well. But uh, I did a how to build a coral reef tutorial on a previous video that I released a couple weeks ago. So if you want to check that out, that's great. But I used that kind of as a rough idea of how I wanted to do this kind of glowy alien-like coral reef. Even have little, little fishies and stuff that will spawn. Um... But over here, I need to move the ocean pylon over. Oh, hello, Chaos. I need to move the ocean pylon over so that it's a little bit more over here. And my idea was, is that I think I will try to build a crashed UFO and have like, we'll have the crystal, the ocean pylon in here. And, hi, Chaos. And the like the body of it will go up to the surface where you can jump out and then continue on your way. That way you can teleport to it relatively easily, but I'll be working on concept designs about how I'm going to build this because it will be tricky. Anyway, last episode I hinted that uh, I had given the boot to X-Men. Now I know most of you have seen Chaos's video and is wondering, and he kind of explained how he got the boot. Um, but yeah, essentially X-Men, unfortunately, was not able to give the boot to Chaos without him noticing and subsequently got pinged twice with uh, the prank for X-Men. <laughs> anyway, here is a continuation of that and kind of my perspective of how the boot has been transferred over, as well as some other little shenanigans that I did afterwards. Hey, let's go to his voice phone and give it. Okay, a I'm gonna to explain them. it right now. I'll just yes. wait. I did leave it on the sign, but okay. So, because I'm silly and I forgot to record this, because I was too busy, you know, surviving for my life. X Men went AFK and then a Goblin Army spawned. I didn't spawn it. It was a natural spawn. X Men died, and being the opportunistic person I am, I took advantage of it and gave him the boot. So X Men yeah, now yeah, yeah. has the boot. 
Story continues. You should. Yeah. I do not appreciate that you had to make me die to get the boot in my inventory. I didn't do it. I did no such thing, and Geist is a witness to this. We tried to protect you, and you died. I just took advantage of the oh, yeah. situation. I do not mm -hmm. feel bad about that. The boot is totally <sighs> cute, but dying is totally the goblin army that spawned. If you've noticed all the gravestones around um, respawn. Yeah, I, I've noticed. Yeah, it's in your... I'll even be nice. Of course, there had to be a goblin army when I go grab. Literally, breakfast. as soon as you went AFK. Literally. Wow. <laughs> Your loot is at my uh, base. I gave you the conch shell to get there faster. Oh my goodness! I I have been a gravestone farm. Wow. <laughs> and you have the boot. Oh, that's too and good. I have it's the boot. Two in one package. I'm over at the uh, I me. thought I was being super clever. And fill and your I, inventory. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't fill my inventory. Yeah, I had the encumbering stone. stone. Uh-huh. So yeah, I was be I thought I was being super clever. And then the goblin army had to go and ruin it. Uh. <laughs> oh. Don't oh, AFK because it's always I feel, a goblin army I feel compelled army to have to tell this to Chaos. Can I go share this with Chaos, please? <laughs> you yeah, have to. No, <laughs> this is too good. Alright, alright. I'm gonna stop recording now <laughs> and uh, right. go share it with Chaos. Okay, so I'm appearing to be AFK in hopes of catching Chaos. Uh, he appears to be heading over. Yep. I think he's really excited. He thinks he's gonna get catch me AFK, and I'm just waiting for him. Yep. This is gonna be so good. Oh, this is gonna be good. You just wait, sir. Does he know it's a trap? This will be great. <sighs> yeah, I knew that sign wouldn't work. This is definitely going into my next video. Oh, God. Thank you, Chaos. Thank you for the eternal entertainment that you provide. And since I'm free to go, I'm gonna go get breakfast while I freely AFK farm because he's not gonna pounce me now. Uh, so f for some reason, my audio got a little bit messed up while I was building this and uh, had to kind of redo the audio. So I wanted to see if I could build a tree in Chaos's base. Um, first I had to put my build tools on and then wall myself off from the marine animals. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, the shape of the seedling, I wanted it to look kind of like a coconut seed, so I wanted it to have like a big bulbous seed that it was growing out of. I had to plant the seed into the sand and unfortunately like I wanted to have roots coming off of it but the only way you could do the roots coming out was if you filled it all in with the wood first because of the way sand is and then backtrack with the sand into the shapes that you want. Um, that's all right. It worked out. Next to filling in some walls, adding in some background textures, trying to kind of figure out how I wanted the inside to look. Um, bunch of different, uh, hammering it into a coconutty shape. Uh, at this point I decided to stop bothering trying to drink, drink Gil's potions because it was going to take me up to 30 minutes and Gil's potions only last like five minutes I think. And I had already bought all of Heise's uh, stock. So I will just make an air bubble. <laughs> At this point, I realized I had forgotten something and uh, decided that I'd also pick up some glowing mushrooms because the glowing mushroom would be absolutely perfect for the stem. I didn't want this to be super unvisible, un not visible, so I wanted to give it a little bit of glow. Um, and I really liked the stem texture of it too, like the, the, the glowing aspect to it really made it look like the tree was magical. and. You know, like this is something that has power. <laughs> I, I was trying to use the coral plants to fill in the tops of it, but decided that they were too sparse and it wasn't quite the right texture I was going for. So I decided to just go with the regular leaf wand. I used the mahogany leaf wand for those spots, but I added a few as texture variants. Well, and then after that, I was pretty much done. So I cleared it away, got rid of some enemies, and just uh, kind of waited. 